As a foreigner in the Philippines, it's always a good idea to be safe. But what are your options when it comes to insurances in the Philippines? Can foreigners obtain health insurance locally? What about life insurance or even travel insurance? So a question that's often asked is what are the health insurance options for foreigners in the Philippines? I recently explored this question in another video but there are some additional points that you may find very valuable. The first point is on the subject of Medicare. Mike asked how Medicare in the US compares to health plans in the Philippines. So I've been looking at the Medicare structure this week and I can see that there are several plans and features. In contrast, in the Philippines, there are several private government operated health insurance policies that foreigners can obtain that offer similar benefits at a fraction of the price. However, not all policies are equal. US health insurance companies such as Cigna are available for expats who are in the Philippines. These insurance companies offer additional health coverage such as dental and vision protection, but the prices are often much higher. Higher. So I did six quotations in total. The first three were with local health insurance, so health insurance companies in the Philippines, and the other three was with international insurances for expats who are moving or living in the Philippines. The lowest quote I found from an international insurance was $432 per month, whereas the lowest quote by a local insurance was $92 per month. The local health insurance that quoted me $92 was a basic insurance, but I did find a premium insurance option in the Philippines that offered me very similar features features as the international insurance but only charged me $204 per month opposed to the original $432 I was quoted previously. These quotes were based on a 65 year old non-smoker with no health conditions and no additional coverage so naturally the total price will differ from person to person. The next point is about investment. Jerry mentioned using your health insurance as an investment so a common policy option in the Philippines is obtaining insurance but using your insurance as part of an investment. But this tends to be with certain life insurance policies, so we will explore this option in the next section. The next question is, should you have two plans, the main one and a backup or side plan? Please explain your best picks and why. Well, there are potential benefits from having two plans. Some advisors say that having two insurance insurance policies may help with fees if you need to claim, but I'm not 100% sure if there are any certain terms against this, so it's best to check with your provider. What I do know, however, is that many expats in the Philippines sign up with PhilHealth, which if you don't know is a government operated low cost project, but the expats also have private insurance on top of their Phil Health. Personally, I would choose Phil Health only, but that is because I'm in good health and have some money set aside for emergencies, but I know I'm doing this at an added risk. The next common question that's often asked is whether Filipino insurance companies offer insurances to foreigners. From the research, they do. During my last video, I contacted the majority of mainstream insurance companies that are in the Philippines, and I found that they could offer insurance policies to foreigners. An ACR card, retirement visa, or work permit will be needed to be shown to proceed. It's common for some to get health insurance and life insurance mixed up as they're often packaged together. But in the Philippines, these are two separate plans with different requirements and different benefits. Some life insurances in the Philippines are not linked to investment, but investment-based insurances are very popular. For example, Sun Life, AXA and Insurer Life all offer investment-linked insurances. Most of these types of life insurance 
insurance plans stop when the policyholder reaches around 60 to 70 years old, so these insurances may not be suitable for everybody. However, there are many benefits. For instance, each of these insurance companies have several financial advisors that you can speak to completely free. This can be really useful when calculating your expenses and comparing your options with the growing inflation rate in the Philippines. Let me know if you have any questions about health insurance or you wish me to dive into this subject in more details. The third category of insurance is travel insurance and the good news is if you're flying to the Philippines or using any other types of transport there is often a simple box to tick for those who wish to obtain insurance. Some expats buy travel insurance packages which protects them from cancelled flights, transfers, lost luggage etc. This falls down to a personal preference as most travel options now include the option for travel insurance but flights to the Philippines are not always the cheapest, so you may wish to consider insurance before you fly. This is not to be taken as financial or health advice, but in my personal opinion, I don't believe expats need several types of insurances while living in the Philippines. If you are in good health and you can save money each month, then a standard health insurance coverage will be absolutely fine. Medical expenses in the Philippines are not the cheapest in the world, but they are far from the most expensive. So this is another personal preference, however, they do say that you can't put a price on peace of mind, but if this added insurance means that you are slightly strapped for cash while living in the Philippines, you may wish to consider all of your options. One tip I would give you is that you will find that the majority of insurance policies offer additional extras. These added extras fluctuate in cost depending on the policy holder's details, but some great insurance combinations can fully cover expats in the Philippines at a very low price. Here are the most popular insurance companies in the Philippines. Let me know in the comments what option you think is best.